everyone welcome back to the channel so i'm going to be continuing with this page today i did film part two this afternoon so it's the evening now and i thought i'd just jump on and do a bit more of this page so this double page spread is from the book circle of life and i'm doing this as a buddha color with color me stress free so if you want to see part one and part two i will link them in the description of this video if you want to check out what i did in the early stages um the background i'm going to do a separate video for as it's been requested that i show you all how i created that background so that will come at some point um later on in the week so i'm going to continue with this page and all i've got left to do really is the leaves and the little tree branch up here the leaves I'm going to do with two colours I've picked out in the Derwent Colour Softs, which I've used for the rest of the butterflies. And that is um, a yellow ochre and a mid-brown. Only those two colours for the leaves. And then for the actual tree branch, I am going to use some Derwent Ink Tents. Just purely because I'm lazy and I don't want to um, be doing all that with pencil. So I thought I'd go in with some water medium. Um, the Distress Ink in this book did already bleed through a little bit, so I'm not worried in case anything else bleeds through. And to be honest, I'm not really keen on this illustration. I couldn't have seen myself colouring that. So I, I can't say I'm too fussed. <laughs> so let's get going. I'm going to stay zoomed out just so we can fit all the illustration on because the leaves are all around the edges. So I will end up going off camera if I zoom in. I know I will. So I'm firstly going to go in with the yellow ochre. And I'm just gonna go into the center of the leaf. You'll barely even notice it probably. But um, yeah, I've done most of the legwork for these leaves by doing a base of the Distress Ink. Yes, Distress Ink. <laughs> and um, yes, that's made it a lot easier for me. Just, just that away. These pencils are super soft that they will break off at times you know just little bits of the pencil will break away so i'm just going in with a hard pressure of the mid brown on the edges slowly working it into the center of the leaf but not all the way in so we're keeping that yellow right in the center Really simple leaves I'm doing today, really simple. Because I really do not like spending too much time on leaves. <laughs> I did spend a lot of time on the ones in the, is it called? I forgot what it's called, Draw draw You Lovely or something? The Korean, color, the Korean colouring book that I did, if you saw that. Um, I spent a lot of time on that one, that was just purely to get it to look like the reference illustration on the opposite side. So I'm going in with a head pressure now and I'm just burnishing all that now with the yellow. And that's pretty much it. That's it for the leaves. That's all I'm going to do all the way along. So, yeah. You might hear somebody going past the house. I have got the window open still. So it's gone really humid now. It's, it's evening now and it's gone really humid. So I've left my windows open. I've put the kiddies to bed, but I think they're still still playing at the minute. I put them in bed and then they get out of bed and start playing around for a bit. But to be honest, they're, they're quite good these days. It's hit and miss, but sometimes they're quite good at just, they'll get out of bed, play for a little bit with the dinosaurs, maybe half an hour, and then they'll get themselves back in bed. So it's not too bad. That's my little list too anyway. <laughs> the eldest one's gonna get a shock when it's back to school because she's been staying up till all hours with her friends on the Xbox. And um, and only getting up at like 11 a.m. in the morning. Lying in. So she's gonna get a shock when it's back to school because when she's at school, she has to wake up at 6am because she's on the bus for 7.20am. So she's going to get the shock of her life when she goes back. <laughs> but that's what the summer holidays are for, isn't it? Enjoying yourselves. 
they can't really see the friends much so I don't mind that she's on the Xbox chatting to them you know they have to keep in touch don't they and that's when they're all on in an evening so when it comes to school as long as she's in bed early then it's okay So I think this has got to be my most favourite page so far in this book. It isn't one I would have picked myself, not because I don't like the illustration, I love the illustration, but because it it, um, it was quite daunting and intimidating looking at it. So that's why I did the background first, because I thought I'm going to have to take out this white space, all this white space in the background so it doesn't look so bad. So I, that's what I did. These pencils glide over them distress inks so glide over them, they're like butter. Someone was asking what I would compare these pencils to and I'm not really good with comparisons but they are really really soft. So I would say they lay down like a Prisma for the softness but I don't like Prisma colours and I like these. So then that might confuse people, but, you know, I find with the Prismas, I find that I can't layer with them. I have a really heavy hand and I can't be light with them. And now the Prismas just go down full pigment straight away for me. Whereas these Colour Softs, I feel like I can build them up more without them going down really bold straight away if that makes any sort of sense to anyone i know what i'm talking about but i'm not very good at articulating it but yeah i would compare them to the prisma colors There's a good range of colours as well. The most, the biggest set you can get, should I say, is 72 set. I would love to see more colours. Love to see more colours. But the colours that you do get are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Such lovely um, earthy tones in them. Definitely a lot of earthy tones. Just going to cover that bit of a white, white bit up there. I'm going to go back in with the yellow. Just do that. I'm just going to get the mid brown and just do these little, don't know what you would call these, the little stems. Because if I try and do that with a watercolour, it's just going to end in disaster. <laughs> so we'll fill in those bits with a mid brown. Colour soft. Right. Let's go for this one. started watching a show ages ago well not ages ago <laughs> weeks ago should i say ages ago weeks ago it's called love island i don't know if you have it whereabouts in the world you are but it's a real like, cheesy shallow program it's like one of them programs that you watch but you don't want to admit you watch it <laughs> it's one of them guilty pleasure things so it is a really rubbish show but you just want to watch it anyway i've been watching all the 
earlier episodes and then I've missed a load of the end ones so I didn't actually watch the final and see who won it but apparently the final was on the other night it is shallow I think everyone knows it's shallow but it's just one of them things it's just one of them programs you love to watch even though you know it's rubbish Go in with the yellow here. Did I go over that one with yellow? I think I did. I think I did and then confuse myself if, if I had or not. I can hear my daughter on the Xbox now raging a bit. Raging. <laughs> That's that one. I'm getting into the spine of the boot now, which is going to be a pain up the bottom. So I'm going to try my hardest to get this on camera as well. This yellow might not, it is showing up a bit, but because of the distress ink that I put down quite a lot on this side. So it is just, you know, it's like a tint coming through almost. Let's get that out from the corner of the boot. Yeah, it's like a tint almost. It's nothing worse than something being right in the spine of the book. It's such a petite. Such a petite. Sharpen my pencil. Oh, sharpened it too much. I'm going to try my best. This could end in a bit of a disaster. Try and blend that out a bit. It's easier with water mediums when you've got an illustration in the spine of the book. Use water medium because it just, you know, when it because it's water, it just flows into the center for you. Let's try and blend them sharp edges a bit better. That's what you get when you're getting your pencil stuck in the center those harsh lines which I hate hopefully you can see what I'm doing and I'm not blocking you off with my big hand I think I've not actually put my tea in yet because we only eat late. We wait till the kids are asleep and then we eat. But I think I'm just going to ping ding a curry. That's what we call it when we put it in the microwave. Ping ding. <laughs> ping ding a chicken karma curry I think tonight. Something simple. Simple, simple. I'm going to do this little one here. I was contemplating doing green leaves and then I thought it really wouldn't go with the theme of the page. So then I thought yellow and brown, that would look really nice. I'm not sure you would get yellow and brown leaves um, at the time that butterflies are in the cocoons, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. They are in my world. So there we go. Right, I've just forgot to get this centre bit as well. This stem. I really do not want to be trying to get that with a paintbrush with the Derwent Ink Tents. Because it's not going to be fun. <laughs> We'll just get all that bit with my pencil. The bits that I can. I'm not worried about shading it, it's just pretty much a block colour of that. 
There we go. And do this little stem. And this one. And let's base this with the yellow. God, I can hear my partner laughing his head off in the Xbox downstairs now. <laughs> It's nice to hear him laughing. Because um, he did lose his dad a couple of weeks ago now. It's obviously been awful for him. So it's nice to hear him laughing. There we go. I'm going to do these two now. Pet it right in the spine again. Now these two don't have a lot of this distress... Um, ink on not as much as all these top ones so there is quite a lot of white space here so i am just going to be careful with this pencil this yellow ochre it is yellow ochre isn't it yeah i'm gonna not go as hard pressure on this at this to start with or else it will go down really bright because we've not got that base of brown it's really really not pleasant getting in there it's really not pleasant I'm going to do this one at the same time just so I don't have to struggle twice I've got it open already here now I'm going to use the mid brain I'm going to do the stem first so let's just get in there with the stem and this Oh dearie me, dearie dearie me, apologise if my hand's in the way for this bit, there's teenagers going past my house so if you hear all sorts of weird strange shouting and crazy noises, they're not my children, <laughs> they're not my kids guys. Hopefully they'll not swear as they're going past. That's what you can normally hear when I've got the windows open. Naughty teenagers with foul mouths going past. I'm going to have one of them soon, aren't I? My eldest daughter's 12 at the moment. Hopefully she won't give me too much jib. <laughs> No, she's a she's a good girl. Right, so I'm gonna start on the edges of the leaves now. We'll start with the top one. So hard pressure at the right at the edges and then I'm gonna move to a lighter pressure to buff it into the centre of the leaf. That's what that's what I call it buffing. <laughs> Make my little words the things. I'm gonna come here and I'm going into that light pressure now. Just gonna carefully bend it into the centre. A little bit. get the right angle on this I really do despise things in the spine of the book why do they do it <laughs> why oh why Right, I'm going to get the yellow ochre again in a minute and just bring it all together. So hard pressure on this now. Try and get in that corner. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
and get in the best I can. There we go, that's not too bad. Just gonna give my pencil a wee sharpen before moving on to this one. So head pressure around the edges again. And then blending out to the centre. such a wind around her but there's nothing worse because your pencil gets stuck in the groove and then you end up with a harsh line and then you can't get you end up with a white bit where you can't get your pencil right down there and I can't break this spine any more than I already have I'm just gonna try my hardest to a bit more of that colour into the centre without getting that big line. I'm gonna go back in with the yellow. I'm gonna do a head pressure now. You can see it come together when you start burnishing with this colour. Like it into the centre. Come on, pencil, put your magic get in there. <laughs> Just dust it off a little bit. So we've got these little ones on the end here today. So let's go in with the yellow ochre first over here again. There we go. It has took me quite a while to do this page. I think this is probably my fourth day working on it. So it took me one day for the background and then I left it. And then one day for two of the cocoons. Another day for the butterflies. And then another day for the leaves. It took me about three or four days anyway. I have got another whip that I need to get done as well. I've not got much done this month, I'll be honest, I've not. With everything that's been going on with the family loss, etc, etc. I've really not got much to show this month. <laughs> I've got an Anastasia whip, but I don't know if I'll be able to get that done or not, I'll be honest. We'll see, we'll see. I did a couple of colour by numbers when I hurt my hand at the beginning of the month. So it's almost better now my hand, it just, it still is so, not when I'm colouring or anything and it doesn't hurt at night anymore because when I first did it, I was waking up in the night and it was painful. Um, so it's not doing that anymore. Um, but it is still tender. You know, when I'm picking the toddlers up, um, I can still feel the pain there but it's like 90 percent better it's just that little niggle i can still feel so it must have been carpal tunnel i mean i, I didn't go to the doctors i don't really like doctors and i thought what can they do really what can they really do for carpal tunnel other than tell me what to why you sit or strap it up or you know rest it etc etc so i just you know <laughs> I thought, what's point in going? And then they'd probably give me a prescription for painkillers, which I'd have to pay for the prescription when I can get them for 50p from the supermarket.
No, oh, flipping fruit, fruit flies. <laughs> fruit flies. Oh, so annoying. My outside bin, we have um we have black wheeler bins. Um outside for our rubbish. I opened the lid up in that the other day to put the rubbish out and a gosh swarms of the fruit flies flew out. And I was like, you know when you think they're going up your nose and you make that funny noise like blowing out so that so that you don't end up swallowing them. <laughs> Oh, nasty. What? Oh, Debbie cracked me up. Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free, she sent me a video this morning of a huge spider um, in a house. And I was like, oh no, Debbie, please. <laughs> I was thinking in my head, please don't send me pictures of spiders. I'm a proper arachnophobe. I was like watching it with one eye open and one eye shut. But I can't even, you know, I'm glad I've got a partner because big spiders like that, I can't even get a glass over them. It terrifies me even going near with a, with a glass to catch them. I can't, I just can't. And if it's really life or death, <laughs> and I don't want... To not know where there's a, where spider is, I have to sack myself up for putting a glass over it. I literally stand back for about five, ten minutes and keep sacking myself up to put this glass over it. It's, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. I get called soft. I'm even terrified of them when they're dead. Like my partner, if he's squished one, you know, don't don't come after me. Don't hate me. But if he has squished one <laughs> and he comes near me to to like, you know, put it in the bin or whatever, I run off screaming. I can't I can't even bear them when they're dead. I just I just cannot even look at one. Rudy teenagers going past my house again, guys. Warning. <laughs> in case there's any obscenities shouted out, it is not me. It is not my children. <laughs> Just have to get that disclaimer in. We have a roundabout by us. We're like, we're on a main road and we're right next to a roundabout. And one night, about 1am in the morning, there was a load of teenagers just sat on the grass in the middle of the roundabout, in the middle of the road, just being noisy and I thought, Gosh, do your parents not know you there? <laughs> That's when you know you're old. You know you're old when you're saying like your own parents. But they must have only been like 14 year old and to be out at like 1am, 2am, sat up middle of a roundabout in, in middle of the road, just being noisy. It's like, where do the parents think they are? Don't know. Oh, the fly. That one came right in my face then. Right on my glasses. <laughs> Being annoying. Sharpening my pencil a little bit. Last two leaves, and then we can move on to the ink tents. I've just ordered some more ink tents as well. I don't know if you watch Gemma from, um, oh, what's the channel? 
What's the channel? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I forgot a channel name. I watch her all the time. <gasps> How bad's that? Is there something cave? Oh my gosh, I have really forgot. Cool. Is it the colour cave? <gasps> I could be wrong. I'll link, I'll link, <laughs> if I remember, I'll link a channel. But basically she has like a stash shop where she sells even new or used um art supplies on there so i did order um i think about nine or ten um ink tents off her just to add to my collection because i don't have the full set i have around i think i had around 40 pencils so i've just added another 10 to it because I don't use them all the time, all too much. Or I'll just use them for bits of an, bits of a page like I am doing today, rather than a full page. So I don't find that I need too many colours. So that makes sense. But yeah, it's a nifty little shop she's got. So if you're looking at buying anything. You're not bothered about them being used because they are good. She won't sell you rubbish, you know. They will be. They'll, they'll be used, but they'll be good quality still. Um, yeah. If you want to grab yourself a little bargain, have a little look. Right, I'm going to move on over to the ink tents now. So I've decided the two colours I'm going to use in the ink tents are oak and saddle brown. So I'm going to mainly put the saddle brown down so i'm going to put that down first and then i'm going to move on to the oak so just first before i do that i'm going to do these little bits in the mid brown color soft just because i don't want to be doing those little teeny tiny bits with water because i'll end up going outside the lines etc etc it's a bit fiddly so let's just get them filled in first don't mind if i have to do a few down here but I just want to get the bulk of it out of the way there's a lot of details in this page that you don't realize until you get into it <laughs> A lot of details that's why I didn't want to do all this tree branch with pencils because I'd have been here all day all day so I'm taking the easy way out with some water mediums why not hmm? why not I'll just leave that for now we'll do this bit up here if I need to just touch up on anything with pencils at the end I can do that as well. Pretty much being used in the same tones, the same colours for the leaves and the branches and the stems. this little bit here and then we'll get on to the ink, ink tents i always get distress inks and ink tanks mixed up in my head and then i end up stumbling my words all the time because i'm trying to think which one i want to say in my head does anybody else do that <laughs> don't know why just confused the two i've done it on videos in the past when i've been doing my completed pages videos I've said distress inks instead of ink tents quite a lot. Right, let's just get into the ink tents now. So I'm going to use the saddle brown and as we're adding water to it, I'm not going to be neat with this. I am just going to lay it down, splat it on all over. I'm not being neat at all. And then to little areas that I want maybe a bit darker, I'm going to add some oak. Once this colour's down, I will add some oak. 
in certain areas. I think my flies come to attack me again. <laughs> so you can see how much easier this is to do with the ink tents because it doesn't have to be neat. Then I'm just going to add water to it at the end and it's all just going to merge, hopefully, rather nicely. <laughs> I'll let you know if it goes through the book as well, if it bleeds through or not. Um, like I said, I'm not fussed if it does because the distress ink's already bled through. So I'm not fussed, but it's good to know, isn't it? Like I said, they didn't bleed through when I did my... I think it was the whale and now whale page I did all in ink tents and that didn't bleed through. But this paper is really temperamental, as I explained in part two. So, as you can see, this is really, really quick. And I'm not being neat about this whatsoever. You can find as well, when you've done a Distress Ink background, when you're using the same tones like this, you can get away with even going out of the lines because it's not noticeable. Because you're using the same sort of colour palette. And the spine of the book again. Hopefully that will merge nice when the water goes in though. I won't have to struggle like I was with the pencils. Let's get a bit up there on there. Has anyone seen the Johanna Basford competition that she's got going on? She's got a certain page out of Worlds of Wonder that you have to colour for the competition and then send it to, I think you have to post it on a website, I think she said. And then the winner will receive a little goodie bag, I believe, of some things. Um, if you've not got the book, Worlds of Wonder, I do believe she's made the page, just one of the pages that the competition is. Um, I believe she's made it available to download. So if you've not got the boot, you don't need to worry about that. You can go and download the page from somewhere. I imagine all the de details will be on her Facebook or her Instagram where I read them. I did get an email as well. So if you've signed up to Johanna's emails, you would have received an email about it. Hopefully, am I on, I'm not in frame. It's this book, it's massive. The double page spread is massive. That's why I said at the start, in part one, that I wasn't going to zoom out very much. Uh, zoom in very much. Right, I think that's it for the saddle brown. So now I'm going to go in with some oak. So this is a darker shade. So I'm just going to randomly put some darker areas in. So possibly where there would be a shadow naturally, like underneath the log there a bit. I'm just going to randomly pick out areas. I'm not even going to be too thoughtful about where they're going, if that makes sense. Just gonna whack it out. <laughs> like I said, the harder you press on with these ink tents, the bolder the colour will be when you add, add the water. If you only want it to go down light, then press on light. It's very much like pencils. If you want something bold, you go in with a hard pressure. If 
you want it light, light pressure. And it's the same with these, because once you add the water to them, that's what will happen. That fly again, is it getting in on the action on my video? I wonder if it picks it up on camera, that little fly bugging me. So I have just randomly dotted the darker shades around. from shaking the camera I apologize <laughs> I am putting on quite a hard pressure here to get this down dark so there we go and I am gonna get it. I think it's called amber let me just check I think it was a sort of amber colour I used last time. Yeah, amber. I'm going to get that one. And with this one, I'm just going to go over the little leaves. So that will come out. It doesn't look it at the moment, but that will come out like a bright yellowish. So I thought that would be quite nice at the side of the leaves. Because they are like, they are almost like little leaves, aren't they? So I thought we'd put a bit of that on. Again, not being neat with that, we are going to add the water and it's going to be fine. Don't worry about being perfect with these pencils. This is what I tend to do with the ink tents as well. Um, Put all the colours down together and then add water. Some people prefer to do one layer of one colour, allow it to dry, then go in with pencils over the top and then re-wet. Um, but I just prefer to get it all out, get it all done in one. Now I'm just going to find some paper to stick under the book and then I'll be right back. I'm back so I've got some paper underneath and I do have an old cloth because I will keep wiping my um, brush off on this so I've got two paint brushes I use the Princeton Neptune ones a lot this is a size 12 it's quite a large head and then we have a size 4 which is for more details so I'm gonna get a feel for which one I want to use and um, I'll stick with the one that feels most comfortable. So I've got some water at the side of it and I'm just gonna start from the right hand side. I've remembered today, cause I'm left handed. So if I start from the right hand side, I'm not gonna be putting my hand in wet paint. So let's see how we get on and activate this. So I think I am gonna start with my little brush cause we do have some finer details in here. So I can't remember what I've done with the um, I can't remember which parts I did with the ink tents and which parts I did with the colour softs. But we'll soon find out. I'm going to get some more water on there. So you can see that it is blending into the background almost. It's the same sort of tones that I've used. You can see where I've put that darker pigment there at the base. So I'm just going to do these little leaves that I put the amber colour on. So you can see they're coming through as a more yellow tone. I'll just do this section here. There we go. Did activate those, didn't I? I 
This brush is definitely better for these tiny branches that I did. Someone's having a little beep, a little beeping party. <laughs> so I think I did that with the ink tents, did I know that little wispy bit there on these bits here. And we'll go in here as well. That was ink tents. Wet my brush a bit more. Like I say, I do think this might go through this page. But we'll have a look at the end. And I'll let you know. Some more water on the brush and hopefully we can get into the spine a bit better. It's definitely easier than the pencils. And moving on to the second, first side of the book now. We're over onto this side. Let's get in there. Used quite a lot of water there then. I think it all went dripping down the middle. Let's activate those little leaves. I'm glad I chose to use these and not pencil because I would have been bored by now trying to do these with pencil. Definitely. Definitely would have been fed up. Daughters have got giggles in the next room. <laughs> so I can hear. Don't know whether you can hear it. I'm really pleased with the way this page is turning out. Really pleased. Let's get them little leaves there. We're still in frame, we are in frame out. Let's add some more water. Did I get those ones? Gonna pull this paper over to the edge. Last little bit the end and I think 
that's it like i say i'm not going to put too much detail in the tree branch um because that would really irritate me i am lazy when it comes to things like that i really do not like to spend too much time but there we go i'm going to remove this paper now once it's dry i might put in a bit of gel pen detail in i'm not quite sure yet i might put some in on the leaves a little bit actually so let me just bring my light over it's gone a bit dark over here hasn't it so bring my light over a bit but i have got a bit of a glow now to do that i'm gonna get a bit of gel pen on some of the leaves so just a few little dots dotted around not too much but I think I've just put my hand in the wet as well. <laughs> so so. I love a good bit of white gel pen detail and there's nothing better. It just really brings something extra to the page, I think. We've got two more little leaves, three more little leaves. And there we go. That, let me move my chair. Let's get in frame. That is the finished, finished piece. Let's try and get this camera straight that's a bit better isn't it so that's the finished page guys i really do love how that turned out i really do i think the color palette is gorgeous on it so yeah so watch out for the video because i will be putting a video up of how i did the background so it's just a distressing background but i will show you exactly how i did it um with the windsor and newton ink on top as well so yeah, please do hit the thumbs up button down below, drop me a comment and subscribe if you're new. I will drop all the links in the description of the products I've used if you're interested. I do have a Amazon store, um, shop front, sorry, Amazon shop front with all my favourite uh, supplies. If you use any of the links provided, I do get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon at no extra cost to yourself. It just does to support my channel. So thank you so much to everybody for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Thank you.